You too, welcome to the dungeon. Big boy Prince, Prince by the big boy. I'm here to show y'all what it is y'all need to do to make sure that you safely have your DTF machine clean and prepped and ready for the next day to make sure that your head is not clogged. So, this is just regular everyday maintenance. We're gonna do another one on how we maintenance the head once or twice a week. So first off y'all, let's get into the program. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the printer off. Now, when we're cutting the printer off, first thing we wanna do is, we're gonna wait till the head move, we're gonna wait till the head moves, and then we're gonna unplug it from the back. Because what uh, the main thing is make sure we clean the carrier bear, the carrier bear every night. Get all that soot and gunk and all that old stuff up off of there. Alright, there we go. See? Now, as you see, we had that we have the head move. So that's gonna allow us room to uh to clean the carrier bearer. So first off, before I show you the carrier bearing, let's get this set up. So what you're gonna need is first you're gonna need some cleaning solution. Pretty much what that is, cleaning. Let it well basically it's cleaning solution. I have a mix of cleaning solution, head cleaning solution from uh, Ink Al. I use a little bit of ammonia and I use a little bit of Windex with ammonia in it, the old school with ammonia. Basically that's what it takes, what I use to keep my head clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. All right, let's get it. And we're gonna pull it up to about maybe eight or nine. We're going to close this up. We don't want to let that go. It's my nice concoction. Make sure I keep my, keep everything printing. There's a lot of rumors and stuff that, oh my God, details, we got to do a lot of this, a lot of that. No, it's not a lot of maintenance. It can become a headache if you do not take care of what, if you don't do your maintenance. Okay. Now, it's not okay. It's let me adjust this. I want you to be able to get a good view of what's going on. So these two right here, this is your carrier bearing right here. These two right here. These are the two things you want to make sure that gets clean good. Like I say, this is a 3800. I do not use it, so it is relatively clean. And this is my second time doing it because of my first video, I messed up. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one, two napkins and we're gonna fold them up pretty little, pretty nice. There you go right here, it's not that big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it on here and we're gonna lightly, very lightly press down on it because it has a spring and if you press down too hard on it the spring is going to come out and you're going to have to put it back in or you're going to have to pay somebody to put it back in which me i had to have somebody put it back in because i didn't want to mess it up now that we have that clean first of all let me show you the gunk that was on and this is one that i do not use i have not used this printer and you can see the dirt on it and i haven't used never used it so the more you clean these things, the better. Now, the last thing you want to do is you want to fill it back up because your print head has been printing all day and there's still ink that's going to be stuck to the head. So you see how I filled it up. Now what we're going to do is that we have it filled up. We're going to power it back on. All right. And what's going to happen now, let me see if I can't adjust it where you can see what's going on. As y'all can tell, YouTube is probably, you can probably tell this is my first video. So y'all won't be too mad at me. As we're cutting it back on, you see how it slides right back over that? The head slides right back over the carriage. 
and it's gonna sit up and soak. It's gonna soak and all that, so it's gonna keep your heads from clogging up. Well, that's about it. That's what it, that's what I do every night to keep my head clean, and it cleans good. It prints good every time. Want to tell you thank you, YouTube, and uh, we'll catch you next time.